Today we're going to be touring the 2016 Dynamax Force HD. This Force is the bunk model. It's on the Freightliner chassis with a 350 horsepower Cummins engine. It has a 10,000 pound towing capacity and it's driven by an Allison 2500 transmission. It has a cab over bunk, two rooftop ACs, and a four color full body paint scheme. It looks absolutely gorgeous. This coach caught our eye because it looks like something that a family could live in and it looks like something that would definitely be an option for full time RVing. So here we are in the Force. This thing is gorgeous. The seats are air ride seats as you're going down the road. The leather feels amazing. Um, the hood is up right now, but it, it looks nice and comfy in here. Like as your passengers right over here to the side, it really feels like you're almost in a semi going down the road. Uh, you have the parking brake, you have your reverse neutral drive, and I just can't express how much just how comfy it is in here you have your cobra cb up here it feels nice and uh and sturdy and i could definitely see how you could drive hundreds of miles a day in this thing unlike most rvs you do have a door that opens so you don't have to come in through the side you have doors on both sides you can step up i must admit i'm not familiar with very much of this because we have a gas coach but everything does look like it's within arm's reach and it feels nice and comfortable up here. Hi everyone! Now I'll be giving you a tour of the interior and show you all the amazing features that this coach has. So something that stands out the most to me is how many people or a family could live in this model. So we have the extra bed up here right when you walk in above the driving area. It looks like it's about a twin size, but it looks a little bit longer, so a tall person could sleep up here. You have a TV, a giant TV, right in the front in the living space. You have two couches on either side, which I think is awesome for more guests or family to hang out all together in the living room. And they are super soft and comfy. I can sit here all day. Then you have a little bit smaller couch on the other side. And on each side above the couches, there is a ton of room for storage. You have two over here and two longer ones above this couch. As we move into the dining area, you have your standard dinette. It's not too big, but I think that the two couches and all the extra space kind of make up for the smaller eating area. Something I love personally about this coach is the counter space. You have a pretty big amount of counter space to be cooking with. The sink is a little on the smaller side, which I think for something this big that is actually a bit surprising, but it still get the job done. You can remove this and you have your standard three burner stove and then your convection oven. All the basics you need in the kitchen. This coach does have a giant residential fridge, really nice, to feed all of the people that you can fit in this coach. Moving into the bedroom area, another awesome feature is this bunk bed. Definitely family oriented. You can fit two kiddos back here. A little bit of a tight squeeze, but if you're small, it could work. You also have a little drawer space right underneath the second bed. Directly across from the kids area, we have a really nice sized bathroom. I think is huge for a home on the road. You've got a ton of storage space right above the sink as well as underneath the sink and this cute little lock and then a decent sized shower as well with a nice shower head. Definitely one of my favorite parts of this unit is the size of the bathroom. Outside of the main bedroom you do have the sliding door so you can close it off for privacy if you want to get away from the kids which you probably do. You can also close off their bedroom from this way in case you have guests sleeping out there. So definitely a lot of features for privacy. A coach that has a washing machine and dryer is definitely a selling point for me. This is beautiful. Really convenient, especially if it's a family and you need to do kids laundry too. The bedroom area is decently sized. Personally, I think it's kind of a tight squeeze right here, even with the slide out, you don't have a whole bunch of space in the bedroom, but next to the bedroom, you have a lot of space by where the kids area is, so I think that kind of makes up for it. We've got a sliding door closet here with a mirror. 
storage drawers beneath the closet, a big TV, and then more storage below and above it for clothes. Also something to note <laughs> is above the bed, you have giant cupboards for putting a lot of clothes or things in the bedroom that you need. This is underneath the bed. We have the fresh water tank, maybe a little bit of room for storage, but not a whole lot. Overall, I would definitely rate this coach as a family oriented or guest oriented just because you do have so much space, but it is perfect for full time living. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out more of our touring videos on tinyhome.tours. <laughs> Did you tell? I was trying to remember it. Yeah. Let me start over. No, it's good. That was fine? Yeah.